stopover at a place called Watlington, the Angel Inn, and we'll let you know when we get there. Here we are in our seating area. Lovely. And the Ukraine flag flying in support for those poor people in that conflict. So here we have the Angel Field. Yeah, which is essentially a nature reserve. We have a read there, bounded by Downham Road, School Road and Fairfield Lane. The green was at one time part of the tenancy of the Angel Public House. Bill Cameron, landlord for 38 years, kept his donkey here. But historically the field has many other uses. There's the millennium feature in the, uh, just the other side of this hedge that I'll show you in a second. It's obviously put here to celebrate the millennium, but it says that there's a puzzle path around it with three routes to the sundial that's in the center, each one a different color, reflecting the shades of the brickwork of the surrounding houses. Of course, it tells the time as well. And within the meadow, there's wildflowers planted to provide a natural habitat for some of our wonderful wildlife. Look at this, how lovely is this? Here's the millennium feature. How lucky are the children of this village to have this on the doorstep. OK, 
can see the different colours in the brickwork. Here. So I guess the children, you can walk along it and try and get to the centre of the path. Follow the blue, blue bricks. Which may be from the pub actually, because the pub is kind of like a purpley blue. I've got to go all the way round. Ah, see, got to go all the way round. Da, da, da. Keep going round till you find. Oh, I've missed the blue ones. Ah, oh, I see. Right, there it is. Let's start again. We'll go all the way around here. Come, pop, pop, this way. This way, pop, pop. There we go. This way, this way, pop. There we go. Oh, Poppy knows the way. Makes sense now. There we go. And we're at the centre. Oh, the light somehow, when there is sun shining, reflects on that copper band in the middle. You can just make out some numbers on it. Some Roman numerals. It's lovely. The Angel Field Millennium Breathing Spaces. Fantastic. It's lovely. So we'll walk this way through it. You can see uh, our box over there. Oh, look at those birds. It's not that early in the morning here, eh, but it feels it. And this looks like it was some kind of, I don't know, could it be some kind of seating area? Like a, almost an auditorium feel. See the layers where perhaps people have sat. A centerpiece, I'm not sure, I'm not sure perhaps Somebody out there knows what this was, but it certainly does look like it's some kind of viewing spot. Plenty of nice seating areas. But this is nice sitting under this gorgeous tree in the summer and just see all the Older folks sitting here passing the time of day in the summer. Lovely. And you can see the wildflowers just starting to poke through now. It's very early spring. I think they mow it. They mow it in the summer to make hay. And the rest of the time they leave it for the wildlife to use, which is just lovely. Um, there's an area just here to my right. Uh, it's a natural bog. It's got some water in it at the moment. Of course that provides a place for frogs and toads and newts and dragonflies things like that and looking at the signs it dries up a little bit in the summer but still provides some refuge oh poppy oh, any water and she has to get in it it's very very nice indeed they're very lucky to have it nice little village well worth a visit if you're coming this way towards the east coast. And there we have it. We'll come out the other end. Lovely place. So 
So morning folks, so we've had a great night staying at the Angel in Watlington and we're on our way now getting closer to the coast. We're going to see if we can stop off in Holt um, and if we can find somewhere to park, we'll see you there. Bye bye. Holt is a traditional Georgian market town boasting lots of quaint boutiques, art galleries, antique and bookshops, butchers, fishmongers and traditional craft shops. We had a very nice seafood platter from the local fishmongers and brought some very nice ribeye steaks from the butchers. Holt, well worth a visit.
so we've arrived at High Sands Creek. It's a camping field really with a small number of hookups and limited facilities. However, it serves our purpose for we've come to just see the hares on the salt marshes. And that's where we're off now. They don't know how to do it, do they? No, you don't know what goes off behind the scenes. True. It's all green screen, you know. See him. He's hiding now. Oh, so yeah. It's gone down. Sadly, the hairs were too far away and too fast for us to record. However, we did see quite a few of them and we sat there for so quite some time the watching them and it was Spiffy, lovely. Heading towards Wells, which you'll just see to my left. It's a really lovely path to follow. Just follow the yellow acorns, although to be fair, it's not difficult because it's just a path, you just stay on it. 
These are all the flood defences here in front of us that built this up over time to stop the land flooding. And as you can see, we're not too far away from wells now, so we're just going to head up there. See what we can see. Oh, 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 oh,